Hello everyone, welcome to AB Animation Studios, After Effects Tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. If you are watching our tutorial for the first time, please check all our uploads, and if you like it, please click that subscribe button and press the bell icon. I have already imported the images in the project tab, and maintained in the folders. You can also maintain your project tab like this to save your time, and avoid confusions. Click here to create a comp. Follow the same settings. Rename this as main. Now create a solid layer. Just leave as it is. Now pre-comp this solid layer. Name this as image. We are going to use this as an image placeholder. Go to image comp, delete this solid layer, and import your first image. Go to main comp, and check it. See, now you can animate this image. And whenever you want, you can replace it. Go to image comp and start adjusting it. For the ink splutter animation, we are going to use this video. You can find the link in the description. Import the video in main comp. This video duration is just 6 seconds. If you want to extend, just select the video layer and then right click and go to time. Then select freeze on last frame. For me 6 seconds is fine, so I am going back. To make the image reveal, make sure the image is under the video layer. And select Luma Inverted Track Mat. If you are not able to find the track mat, click on the toggle switch. Or right click here and enable modes. As we saw in the reference video we are going to follow the same, like, first image, right and second image, from left, and follow the same. So to move the image in the footage, select both layers and move in comp view. Trim the image layer, same as video layer. For the second image. Duplicate the image and video layer, and move both layers, same as how I am placing. And now move the layers in comp view. When this second image is revealed, make sure the first image fades out, so open opacity and do the fade out animation. If you want to increase the size, then just increase the scale value of ink video. And if you are facing this kind of cutout problem, just move the image layer in comp. Now 
Now we have to change the image in image to comp. See we have just duplicated the image comp. So if you change this image comp, other comps will also get updated. To avoid that, duplicate the image comp in project. So you will get two different comps. Once done hold alt key and drag and drop on the image layer. Please note that both the layers have to be selected to replace. So before replacing please select the particular layer in the comp. Open image to comp and drag and drop the second image. Hide or delete the first image. If you want to edit the image, you can do it. Go to the comp and start your editing works. This won't affect the animation. To fade out the last frames, just select the opacity keyframes and paste it on the image too. That's it. We are going to do the same process for the other two images. Please follow the steps. Ok now, we are going to add the background. I am adding one paper texture. Just drag and drop into the comp. Make sure it is in the bottom of all the layers. To give more good look and feel, select the image comp layer and change the mode of it. I am changing it to multiply. Now the image will look good. Do the same thing for other images too. If you want to add any particle overlays, please do it. That will also help to enhance the look and feel. To animate the images, go to the specific comp and animate it as your wish. Make sure the animation is syncing with our flow. If you do color grading, then the video looks so good.
That's it guys. Hope you liked this video. Please share your thoughts in the comment box below. Please don't forget to check our recent uploads and if you are interested please click that subscribe button and bell icon, so you won't miss our uploads. Thank you so much for your love and support. Keep supporting us. We'll meet you in the next video. Bye.